guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today, I am giving you guys a Harmony sofa review. So this one I actually had planned to film a long time ago, but I'm actually glad that I didn't because I've had this Harmony sofa for two years and I've been able to get a lot of just information on how I feel about it and like how it's worn over time. I just feel like I have more information I can share about it versus like it just showing up at my house. So to start off, let me just give you the details of what this couch is and we'll go from there. So this is the West Elm Harmony Sofa. I had to pull it up on my Instagram because I'm totally blanking on what we ordered. We did order a four piece sectional plus an additional armless piece to make it this size to fit the space and it is with the down filling in the color twill wheat which is a performance fabric now obviously buying a couch is a big investment so in every video i tell you i do a lot of research before i bring anything into my home or do anything to my home so i'm a very detail-oriented person and based on everything that i was seeing at the time this was what 2021 no it was 2020 when we ordered it but it arrived in 2021 i did a bunch of research at that time and based on all of the options that i saw out there all of the different sizes shapes feel it filling reviews everything that i could find i had landed on the west elm harmony sofa a few of the reasons that i purchased it is i really love the shape of it i think that it has a really streamlined classic won't go out of style shape i really liked the thicker like arms at the ends. This room is um, pretty large. It has a really, really tall ceiling. So I wanted a sectional. My whole view of this room is I just wanted it to be like seating for a lot of people. I was envisioning Christmas time. Our whole family can sit on this sectional and feel really, really comfortable and be able to watch a movie and have the fireplace going. And that's just kind of like my vision for this room. So going back to another reason why I purchased it, I thought the price was very, very fair for what you were getting. So you were getting a massive couch essentially that is deep so it's more comfortable, it feels a little bit more lived in, you can lay on it, you can sleep on it if you want. Some couches that you get are just, they don't feel like a substantial couch, you know what I mean? So I think the design of it and then just like the size that you get for the price was making sense for me. And then also the fact that it was from West Elm which is a very established brand, very substantial. You can feel confident in ordering from West Elm because they're just, you know, they're West Elm, they're a huge brand. So I would say those were the main reasons why I ordered it. And after living in it for two years or so, I really hate to say that I'm not in love with it. I still like the look of it though, so that's what's kind of like holding me back for saying absolutely not, I don't like this couch. I do like the look of it. I think it looks really nice. But let me tell you a few reasons why I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> Reason number one is we had only had this couch for about a month and we weren't even using that, it that much because like I said, we do have an informal living room that we do tend to use more because it's directly off of the kitchen. So we weren't using this room that often and it's split at the seams about a month in of light use. That just kills me, you guys. It's like you spent so much money on this couch and then it just splits at the seams for seemingly no reason, especially in like, I, it was this corner piece where nobody really sits in the corner. It's not like somebody is sitting on the edge of this corner because it's like against the wall, do you know what I mean? So. I don't know, it was just a really confusing place for it to split at the seams. The second thing that I had noticed early on is that the couch was pilling really badly. Now it's pretty normal for your couches to have some pilling and you just keep up with it, whether it be with one of those like debobbler machines. I actually got one mainly for this couch, but I had ordered it and I had noticed that the pilling was just really, really hard to maintain. And we do have another sectional, not even as not even a nice as nice of sectional in our den area and we had not noticed near as many pilling on that couch versus this one so i was just starting to get a little bit fed up like i feel like i'm constantly like shaving this couch down and it's just constant like pilling and we don't even use this couch as much so it was just kind of getting to the point where i'm like i don't know why i'm working so hard to maintain this couch when it's just gonna look the way that it looks if this also might be just this fabric an issue for just the fabric that i chose but it is supposed to be a performance fabric. Everything that I had researched, I felt like this was the right choice for high use areas, but 
seems to not be so and then the last thing that happened somewhat recently i think within the last year our ottoman that we had ordered it completely caved in and as mentioned again we don't really use this couch that much so it just kind of is one of those things like how it's not like we're jumping on this ottoman and just like being crazy we don't have fully grown children we have a toddler who's turning two next month and it's just it's already caved in like it just is wild to me <laughs> and to be fair i have not even reached out to west elm on any of these issues until recently it has already passed like the two year mark that we'd had the couch and so they did not offer to help in any way they did not offer really anything so it was just kind of like your sol at this point like you've had this couch for two years and you no longer can claim any sort of customer service help at this point so i don't know if that's on me or if that's on west elm because they have some sort of limited time will help you time frame but i don't know i think one of the the reasons why i had bought it is because it was from west from west elm and it was such a big well-known brand that i figured that if anything were to go wrong that they would have a really great response team for that but it didn't seem that way, but again, it's been two years, so I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt that I did wait too long, I was too lazy, but I will blame having a new a newborn for two years on that issue. <laughs> I should have been more on it, but that was literally the last thing on my mind. So other than that, I mean, I felt like this couch has been a good staple in my home. Like I said, I like the way that it looks. Like I don't wanna completely trash this couch because I think it looks nice. Um, but it's just not meeting expectations. So if you're somebody who's about to invest in a couch and you want it to last a long time and you want it to feel nice even though you've had it for a few years, I just don't know if I would say that this is that one. To give you some couches that I do like, some sectional, modular sectional sofas, I did create a list for that. These are a few that I thought looked really nice. I haven't tried any of these in person, so again, take that for what you will. Yeah, these are the ones that I'm looking at. The first one that I'm actually seriously considering, and I know nothing about this brand, but it seemed to have a really good price point, and I just liked the very streamlined, classic shape of this, this sectional, and it's from Downey's Tome, and it's called the Feather Modular Sectional. Now, the reason I like this one is because the side arm of it is like straight down it's a right angle and i want it to go directly up against a shelf like an open shelf system that i have for my daughter's toys and so i felt like that would fit perfectly against that and have just like a seamless transition into the shelf system so i really liked the arm of it i like how thick the arm of it is i feel like it looks substantial the filling or like the um, fluffiness if you will of the couch looks really really comfortable and so that's another reason why i was looking at it i am looking at a darker color and i I felt like their darker color options were like the colors looked really nice um, versus like the lighter color option that is number one on my list i am looking into that one but have made no decisions yet and i don't know anything about this brand so that's my disclaimer there the next sectional that i'm looking at is from six penny home and this brand i have never personally sat on any of their sofas or furniture before but i have heard so many great things about six penny I have actually looked at their couches before I invested in this one. Theirs are just slightly more of an investment, if you will, but at this point, I'm like, I would be willing to invest more than what I paid for this couch for it to last longer, you know what I mean? And it is the Devon Corner sectional. What I like about this sectional is, again, it's the right angle arm that's right there. I feel like that's a really classic look that won't go out of style. I like how thick the arm is as opposed to some that I've been seeing a little bit thinner. I really like the fabric material options that you have it kind of looks like a slip covered couch it looks lived in it looks relaxed almost like a california chic type vibe so that was second on my list these other ones i'm about to list off are no particular order these other ones i just kind of found while researching and thought those look cool too so let me share those with you the next one is definitely an investment but if you have the means to do so i definitely support this one and it's the jenny kane harbor sectional anything that jenny kane produces i swear just looks so stunning and so timeless in any space like it really goes with pretty much like any decor style that you have and this sectional i think is just so beautiful so if you're on the hunt for an investment piece something that will be timeless but look really really great amongst your other furniture i feel like this harbor sectional is a great option for that the next sectional that i 
am eyeing and I think is really beautiful is the Portola slip cover corner sectional sofa from Lulu in Georgia. This one I thought was really beautiful. It's again like the slip cover look, kind of like a lived in casual California chic vibe. Um, but I really liked the arms on this one. I feel like the little slope down is also a really classic shape, but it gives your sofa, your sectional sofa, just a little bit of a detail versus like the ones that I'm really drawn to, which are, are very much straight angles and like modular block style. And the lived in linen, I just am really loving it. So I think this is a really cool option as well. The next one that I think is really cool is the CB2. Matea six piece u-shaped sectional and the color onyx and I feel like I have to specify the color onyx because I don't know if I like the white one of this which is interesting. I feel like I like this in this dark color, but I don't know if I would like it in the white color. <laughs> the reason I like this one, again, I feel like this is throw it in your basement, casual, let's watch a movie, let's sink into the cushion, let's just full on relax in this couch. That's what this is kind of making me feel. I like the double layers. I think that's a little bit of a different take on it. But again, I don't think I'd like it in the white. I think it would have to be this dark color. I like the pillows kind of just like draped over on the side like that. It just looks like an inviting couch in my opinion. So I wanted to throw that one on the list. It's not high up on my list, but I do like it. The next sectional that I have on my list is for more of the classic person. So if you like something more classic, more a little more grown up, it's the Arha Kimpton sectional. And like I said, I feel like this one's a little bit more mature versus the other like more laid back lived in ones that I just mentioning I do like this one though and this is one that we were looking at prior to investing in the West Elm one I like that it just feels a little bit more structured a little more put together versus the other one and I think it's a great option if you want something really really classic definitely won't go out of style and we know that our house has great furniture so I feel like it could be a good option okay and I did include a budget-friendly option on here because I have been eyeing this one also the Ikea Soderham sectional sofa with the BEMS slip cover, and I'll link both of those below, but the Ikea Soderham is the sofa, and then if you invest in the slip covers that you can get off of BEMS design, there is a separate company called BEMS, B-E-M-Z, that creates slip covers and like different accessories for Ikea products, and they have one for the Soderham sofa, and it makes the sofa feel so cool, so chic, so like European, like it just looks really, really nice. And the great thing about this particular setup is that if you wanted to change the slip cover, say it got dirty, ripped or whatever, like you can just order the sofa and then order different slip covers and go from there. And I think it's just a really cool option. I love the lived in look of this one as well. I feel like it looks so high end for such a budget price and I just love it. So I wanted to share that in case you are someone who's on a budget looking for something really cool or someone who really likes um, likes to switch up their decor and it obviously doesn't make sense to just buy sofas every time you wanna sw switch your decor. So <laughs> yeah, that was my option for that. All right, so that was my video, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed chatting with me on different sofa options. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And that's about it. So I will leave you with that and I'm sure I will talk to you guys on my next video.